Hello students, I am Sunil Ranjan and I am an English teacher. Now in this session I have come up with free verse. Now to begin with, free verse is a literary device that can be defined as poetry that is free from limitations of regular meter or rhythm and does not rhyme with fixed forms. Such poems are without rhythm and rhyme schemes. They do not follow regular rhyme scheme rules, yet they provide artistic expression. In this way, the poet can give his own shape to a poem however he or she desires. However, it still allows poets to use alliteration, rhyme, cadences and rhythms to get the effects that they consider are suitable for the piece. Now coming to the features of fevers. The features of fevers. Now the f number one. Fevers poems have no regular meter or rhythm. Number two. Fevers poems do not allow a proper rhyme scheme and do not have to follow any set rules. Number three. Free verse poems are based on normal pauses and natural rhythmical phrases as compared to the figurative constraints of normal poetry. Well, Walt Whitman is known as the father of free verse English poetry. In his poem, only a simple metaphor is used to fascinate readers without any regular rhyme scheme or rhythm. We can see normal pauses in the poem unlike the typical limitations of metrical feet. Now examples of free verse in English literature. Now the first one is from A Noiseless Patient Spider by Walt Whitman and the lines go, I marked where on a little promontory it stood isolated, marked how to explore the vacant vast surrounding. It launched forth filament, filament, filament out of itself, ever unreeling them, ever tirelessly speeding them. Now the second one is from Come Slowly Eden by Emily Dickinson and the lines begin Come slowly Eden, lips unused to thee, bashful, sip thy jasmines as the fainting bee. Reaching late his flower, round her chamber hums, counts his nectars alights and is lost in bombs. So these were the two examples and the third comes here but first I must tell you Emily Dickinson is famous as the mother of American English free verse. This poem does not have consistent metrical patterns, musical patterns or rhyme. It follows the rhythm of natural speech and gives an artistic expression to the ideas it contains. Now the next one is From the Garden by Ezra Pound. And here it begins, like a skein of loose silk blown against a wall, she walks by the railing of a path in Kensington Gardens and she is dying piecemeal of a sort of emotional anemia. So, Ezra Pound is also well known for writing fevers poetry. He created this modern fevers poem with musical quality. There are stressed and unstressed patterns created very intelligently. It does not follow a regular rhyme scheme, but we see alliteration in words such as like, loose, round rabble, exquisite and excessive. Free verse gives a greater freedom for choosing words and conveying their meanings since it depends upon patterned elements like sounds, phrases, sentences and words. It is free of artificiality of a typical poetic expression. So friends, here I come to the end of the topic that is free words. 
if you have subscribed to my channel well is fine if you haven't do subscribe to my channel so that in the time to come i come up with finer videos for you and that's my promise thank you